YouTube, what is going on, guys? We're going to switch it up a little bit with this haircut tutorial. You guys are going to see a familiar face, somebody that I cut in Barber vs. TV when we when I faced off against 360 Jeezy. At that time, we did a ball fade. We're going to switch it up a little bit in this video. And with that being said, let's go ahead and check out this consultation. All right, so this is my brother-in-law, y'all. You guys might remember him from the Barber vs. TV battle. He has switched up the cut. He doesn't want any of this nasty stuff off of his face. Um, yeah. You guys will see what kind of cut we give him. It's gonna be some sheer work, a little taper action. It's just his own little style. So here we go. All right, y'all. So his hair is really difficult. And I said in the Barber vs. TV, but a lot of people didn't believe me. Um, his hair is super, super thick, guys coarse straight hair um and so we're gonna separate it pretty high here above the parietal ridge because ultimately we, what we're trying to do is debulk it on the sides and leave length on the top that he can comb forward i decided to do scissor over comb not necessarily because the best technique to use here i'd probably be better off doing clip over comb especially with this texture of hair but i want to show somebody who was watching how to do scissor over comb and i'm um, going really really so slow um and kind of talking to my to person who's watching pretty much um so just keep that in mind i would not necessarily always use um scissor over comb especially with this texture of hair definitely using probably clipper over comb but you can see what i'm typically doing is i'm just using the the length on the side of the the panel that i'm cutting now to kind of to kind of be my my reference right and then we just kind of use the comb to go straight up like a straight line and it kind of just blends into that length that we're trying to keep around the parietal ridge and the reason why i'm doing it this way and i i sectioned it so high on top is because we, again with his texture of hair especially around the parietal ridge area guys it can tend to just kind of sprout out so by by doing this first and kind of debulking cutting up i'm able to manage the bend of the hair, how much length we're leaving here so that it bends down and doesn't just stick straight out. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. All right, so now that we've done that, what I'm gonna do now is take sections little by little, um, doing the sides of the top first to connect to the longest length that we left on the sides. And then we're gonna kinda um, exaggerate a little bit, over direct the hair by the fringe to keep some length in the fringe area. Cause remember, he wants to keep it long in the front. And then we'll do the back section the same way. So you guys can see how everything's kinda connected. And in the back, I, I, I typically like to do um, sections like this, vertical sections like this, just cause it, it tends to layer nicer, kind of lay nicer, especially with this texture of hair. So doing the same thing on this side, separating the back from the sides and connecting it to the top. And then we're gonna kind of over direct it down to leave some length in the fringe area. And then I'm just kind of refining it a little bit here. And notice I'm kind of like point cutting here. Again, he didn't want much of any length in the fringe area, but I want to at least make it kind of PC, look like he had a haircut in the front. And once we've done that, we'll go ahead and just start to cut uh, directly across horizontally um and you guys notice that i'm kind of point cutting just to leave texture in there it doesn't have to be perfect he's gonna have that messy top um anyways all 
All right, and now I'm using blending shears just to kind of soften. You can see where it's kind of like jumping up a little bit. There's a ridge there almost, you know what I mean? Um, I'm trying to soften that ridge up. And this is being careful. If you're not careful and you just kind of cut into that bulk, you're gonna end up with a really strong ridge there that he doesn't necessarily want. So we're done with the sides, we're done with the top. We can go ahead and start to do this taper. So I'm gonna start off with the one and a half guard all the way open using my corners. This is a number two, even though number two is supposed to be purple, the number two purple broke on me. It was a bad day for me. All right, so once we've debulked it, that's what I like to call it, debulked it with the number two and the one and a half guard. We're gonna go trimmer, then we're gonna go uh, clipper all the way open and then close it little by little until this section is blended. We're gonna keep this taper pretty low here. All right, next step is gonna be my one, my half guard, sorry, because we just left off with the one and a half guard. So the half guard is gonna be what's next, all the way open and then closed. And then my last, my last step should be my number one guard, um, and that should blend right into that one and a half guard. If it doesn't, then grab that one and a half guard, slap it on, and um, that should do the, 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 the end of the blend. <laughs> so here I'm just kind of using... Oh, man, I'm over here fumbling all over my words. Uh, but you guys saw I did a little bit of a clipper over comb just to kind of refine it. And I'm just looking for little areas to detail. So we've done one side, now let's do the left side. All right, so one and a half guards done. Then the trimmer. Now we're doing the clipper. You can see I, I went in close and then I'm opening it a quarter of the way, then halfway, then all the way. You could fade like that if you feel comfortable doing that. All right, my next step is gonna be my half guard. And you again, you can go all the way open and then blend down or you can go close and blend up. We went all the way open and blended down. You can see how nice that taper's coming together. Low tapers on thick hair works out nice because you'll see a transition, a really nice gradient. With thinner hair, typically I don't really like doing low tapers because you don't really see that much gradient potential. You know what I mean? Gradient potential. I feel like I made that up. All right, so we're gonna do the back here now, and we're pretty much doing the same concept. I'm starting off with the one and a half guard. You can see I'm kind of freehanding, freehanding, like as we go up past the occipital bone, which is with, like kind of that bump in the back of your head here. Uh, and if that doesn't blend in perfectly, then we'll do a number three or a number two. You can see what my brother-in-law is looking at on his phone. <laughs> and then you know if if the three and a half guard is creating a line, then you can always refine it with your with scissor over comb but that's a great way to set yourself up for a strong foundation so we can start this taper and i'm going to go my trimmer my trimmer and then we're going to do the blade open then we're going to pretty much do the same steps that you saw on the side taper i'll shut up you guys follow along in the bottom left corner there's a, a color guide and um i'll be right back I know you guys are watching the taper, but I, I'm paying attention to the, the bulk of his hair, like the transition from the taper all the way into the top. And I'm really liking how the hair, um, how the haircut's contouring his head shape, you know? And then like another thing though with his hair texture is like any, to me, I feel like any little imperfection will show. So you really gotta be careful um, to see the haircut in different angles and different lighting and detail it using the corner of your clipper to take out little dark spots. All 
right so now the lineup begins and I like to start um, on the bottom there by the nape neck area try to get a nice strong solid line <laughs> that's funny his his hairline behind his ear naturally sits up pretty high so you don't want to go too cosmetic there and raise it up even more you really want to try to use its natural line so that it doesn't look like you pushed his hairline up behind his ear using this trimmer technique you're able to get a little bit more gradients by making that area a little bit lighter and then we're gonna do the same thing here in the neck area um, try to get that line nice and nice and um, sharp and then you'll be able to see uh, what the taper looks like too a little bit better and same thing here behind the ear make sure it's nice and natural the C cups nice and natural his hair is dark man you don't really need to push him back to get a nice sharp line and as always guys we go back and we detail The razor work is a must. It's gonna really make the, it even makes the taper pop, believe it or not. Yo, true story, his dad was like, man, we doing with that beard, bro, so. I was like, let me blend it in. It'll look better. Please let me blend it in. So between me and his dad, my father-in-law, this is Justine's little brother, my, my wife's little brother, um, my brother-in-law. Uh, between me and my father-in-law, we convinced them to at least lower the beard down, fade it in a little bit better. And I think it looks a million times better, but um, still needs some work. I'm gonna, If I'm going to be honest, no, I'm not trying to diss my brother-in-law or nothing like that. Yo, that taper looking clean. For for a low taper like that, his hair is dark, man, and it's and it's super thick, man. So that low taper looks good on his hair. All right, so we're putting a little bit of sea salt spray in his hair to give it a, some more texture. Only thing that I I wish I would have done um in this haircut was layer the fringe a little bit more it you'll see it in the finished product it's it felt a little thick um maybe i could have um maybe i could have thinned the hair out on top a little bit more although i thought i did um those are the only, that's the only regret i have with his hair like right here it's a little bit too a little bit too much weight but he really loved it man he really liked the cut So guys, this is the before. Now check out the after. Yeah, I like I really like the way the haircut suits his head shape, man. It, the blend kind of contours his head shape. Let me know what you guys think about the cut, man, in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. We're going to try to do, you know, five days a week. We're going to try to do. I'll see y'all there.